Laudator Jesus Christus. Welcome to this live broadcast coming to you from the Casa Santa Marta Chapel, where our Holy Father will shortly begin to celebrate the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass on this Tuesday of the fourth week of Easter. On behalf of Vatican Media, I'd like to thank all of you for joining us and welcome you to this broadcast. Those of you who may be joining us through the various Vatican Media channels, through our Vatican News web portal, our Facebook Live feed, our YouTube channel, or our Vatican News Live Events app. And those of you tuning in through television, I'd like to welcome you as well to the broadcast and thank those television stations making this broadcast possible. We have some of you joining through Catholic Faith Network at Madarshan TV, Shalom World TV, Catholic TV, EWTN and Salt and Light TV. And to those of you joining us through radio, especially those who may be tuning in through Sirius XM in the United States or through Luminous Radio in India, as well as all the other radio stations making this broadcast possible, and all of you joining through various digital platforms. Special welcome goes to those of you joining through the Diocese of Antipolo in the Philippines. My name is Sister Bernadette, and it is a pleasure for me to be able to provide the English language texts and translations for you. This morning, I'll be using the translation for the readings from the lectionary approved for use in the United States. And for those of you following with a missal, our Holy Father generally uses the second Eucharistic prayer. We prepare ourselves now to enter into this holy sacrifice of the Mass. We hear a Marian hymn being sung. Our Holy Father has now entered the chapel. We venerate our Lord with him and prepare to enter into this memorial of the defining moment in the relationship of humankind with God. We pray today for the deceased who have died because of the pandemic. Many have died alone. They've died without the caresses of their dear ones and many of them without funerals. May the Lord receive them in glory. Let us rejoice and be glad and give glory to God, for the Lord our God, the Almighty, reigns. Alleluia. In nome del Padre, del Figlio e dello Spirito Santo. Amen. La pace sia con voi. E con il tuo Spirito. Fratelli, per celebrare degli amenti, i santi misteri, riconosciamo i nostri peccati. Our Holy Father has invoked the Lord's peace upon us, and we now call to mind our sins. Signore, che non sei venuto a condannare, Ma perdonare, abbi pietà di noi. Lord, have mercy. 
Cristo, che fai festa per ogni peccatore pentito, abbi pietà di noi. Christ, have mercy. Signore, che perdoni molto a chi molto ama, abbi pietà di noi. Lord, have mercy. Dio Onnipotente, abbia misericordia di noi. Perdoni i nostri peccati e ci conduca alla vita eterna. Preghiamo. And we pray. Dio Padre Onnipotente, che ci dai la grazia di celebrare il mistero della resurrezione del tuo figlio. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that celebrating the mysteries of the Lord's resurrection, we may merit to receive the joy of our redemption. We now move into the liturgy of the Word. This morning's first reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Dagli Atti degli Apostoli. In quei giorni, quelli che si erano dispersi a causa della persecuzione scoppiata a motivo di Stefano erano arrivati fino alla Fenicia. A Cipro, Those who had been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but Jews. There were some Cypriots and Cyrenians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart. For he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people, and it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The Word of the Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountains the Lord loves. The gates of Zion more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. All you nations, praise the Lord. I tell of Egypt and Babylon among those who know the Lord. Of Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia, this man was born there, and of Zion, they shall say, one and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High. All you nations, praise the Lord. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled, this man was born there, and all shall sing in their festive dance, My home is within you. All you nations, Praise the Lord. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Il Signore sia con voi. Dal Vangelo secondo Giovanni. This follows right after the Good Shepherd discourse we heard yesterday. Ricorreva in quei giorni 
a Gerusalemme la festa della dedicazione. The feast of the dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter. And Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you did not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to me. But you do not believe, because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice, I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Our Holy Father will now give us his homily. Gesù. Era nel tempio. Jesus was in the temple. Era vicino alla festa della Pasqua. It was near the feast. Anche i giudei in quel tempo si fecero Even the corno, Jews fino a quando in that time era... surrounded him Se tu sei and said, how much longer are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Ma questi facevano perdere la pazienza. These would make someone lose patience, and Jesus replies to them, I've told you, but you do not believe. They continue to ask him, is it you, is it you? And Jesus says, I've told you, I've told you. But you do not believe, because you are no sheep of mine. And this could perhaps arouse a doubt I believe, and I am a part of Jesus' sheep, but then he says, you don't believe because you don't take part in, the, in my flock. Is there um, a short moment of belief in Jesus? What is this to be part of of the faith of Jesus. What is it that what is it that makes me stop before the door that is Jesus? There are there are brief moments that come before confessing Jesus, even us who are in Jesus' flock. There are attitudes that we, we might be able to call uh, brief moments of antipathy that keep us from going ahead in our knowledge of the Lord. The chief among them is wealth. There are many of us who have entered the door of the Lord and then we stop and we don't continue because we are imprisoned by wealth. And the Lord was hard about wealth. He was very, very hard to the point of saying that it was easier that a camel go through the eye of a needle than a rich person enter the kingdom of heaven. That's hard. Wealth 
is an impediment for going ahead. So do we need to fall in poverty? No, but not to fall into the temptations of wealth because because wealth is the Lord of this world and we cannot serve two masters. And wealth makes us stop or stops us. Another thing that that keeps us from going ahead in our knowledge and belonging to Jesus is rigidity, hardness of heart. Even in the rigidity of interpreting the law, Jesus reproached the Pharisees, the doctors of the law, for this rigidity, which is not faithfulness. Faithfulness is always a gift of God. Rigidity is a security for oneself. One time I went into a parish and there was a woman, a good woman, who came up to me and asked, to, he wanted to ask, she wanted to ask me something and she said, um, this past Saturday I went, I went to a wedding in the family, it was a Saturday afternoon. It wasn't this past one, but the other one, and we understood that in this Mass, we would, we would fulfill the, the Sunday precept, and then I went back home, and I realized that the readings of that Mass weren't the ones for Sunday, and so I became aware that I was in mortal sin because I hadn't gone to Mass on Sunday because I had gone on Saturday. And it wasn't a real Mass because the readings weren't the right ones, that rigidity. And that woman belonged to an ecclesial movement, rigidity. This distances us from the wisdom of Jesus, Jesus' beauty. It takes away our, or robs us of our freedom. And many pastors make this type of rigidity grow in souls, in the souls of the faithful. And this rigidity doesn't allow one to enter into the door that is Jesus. It's more important to observe the law as it is written, or as I interpret it, rather than the freedom to move forward following Jesus. Another thing that doesn't allow us to go ahead in our following of Jesus is apathy, that tiredness or fatigue. You can think of the man beside the pool for 38 years, apathy. It, take, it robs us of our, our will, our desire to go ahead, and everything is if, but, not now. It, it makes you tepid, apathy. It's another thing that keeps us from going ahead. Another, which is pretty bad, is a clericalistic behavior or attitude. It's, it makes you be opposed to Jesus. You do this, 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 and this. If you don't do it like this, you can't come in. Let's let the Master aside. I think he was teaching, uh, talking of Jesus at that moment. It takes away the, the liberty to believe of the faithful. It's an illness. It's a bad illness in the Church this clericalistic style or attitude. Another thing that keeps us from entering and knowing Jesus and, and professing Jesus is the worldly spirit. When the observance of the faith, the practice of the faith, ends up in worldliness, and everything becomes worldly. We can think of the celebration 
of some sacraments in some parishes, how much worldliness there is there. And one doesn't understand well the grace, the presence of Jesus. These are some of the things that that stop us from becoming Jesus's sheep. We are sheep of all these things, of wealth, of apathy, of rigidity, of worldliness, of clericalism, of ideologies, of forms of life. But freedom is lacking and one cannot follow Jesus without liberty, freedom. And yet at times, the freedom goes beyond and one might slip and fall. Yes, that's true. We can slip on the way of liberty. But, but this is um, slipping before becoming free. May the Lord enlighten us to see within us if there is liberty, freedom to go beyond the door, which is Jesus, to go beyond with Jesus in order to become his flock, to become sheep of his flock. We now enter into the liturgy of the Eucharist. We're praying today for those who have died, many of them, as our Holy Father told us, dying alone without the nearness of their loved ones, many of them without funerals. So we pray for all of them. Some of you may want to name particular people at this moment. We lift them all up to the Lord. Benedetto sei tu, Signore, Dio dell'universo. Per la tua bontà abbiamo ricevuto questo pane frutto della terra del lavoro dell'uomo. Lo presentiamo a te perché diventi per noi cibo di vita eterna. Blessed be God forever. Benedetto sei tu, Signore, Dio dell'universo. Per la tua bontà abbiamo ricevuto questo vino frutto della vita del lavoro dell'uomo. Lo presentiamo a te perché diventi per noi bevanda di salvezza. Blessed be God forever. Pregate fratelli perché il mio e il vostro sacrificio sia gradito a Dio Padre Onnipotente. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Dio, che in questi santi misteri compi l'opera della nostra redenzione, fa che questa celebrazione pasquale... Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Signore, sia con voi. E con il tuo spirito. In alto i nostri cuori. Sono rivolti al Signore. Diamo grazie al Signore, il nostro Dio. E cosa buona e giusta. E veramente cosa buona e giusta. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory.
Padre veramente santo, fonte di ogni santità, santifica questi doni con le funzioni del tuo Spirito, perché diventino per noi il corpo e il sangue di Gesù Cristo, nostro Signore. Egli, offrendosi liberamente alla sua presse il pane e rese grazie, lo spezzò, lo diede ai suoi discepoli e disse, prendete e mangiatene tutti, questo è il mio corpo, offerto in sacrificio per voi. My Lord and my God. May I listen always to your voice. Dopo la cena, allo stesso modo, prese il calice e rese grazie. Lo diede ai suoi discepoli e disse, prendete e bevetene tutti questo è il calice del mio sangue per la nuova ed eterna alleanza versato per voi e per tutti in remissione dei peccati fate questo in memoria di me my lord and my god No one will ever take me out of your hands or the Father's hands. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Celebrando il memoriale della morte e resurrezione del tuo figlio, ti offriamo, Padre, il pane della vita e il calice della salvezza. E ti rendiamo grazie per averci ammesso la tua presenza a compiere il servizio sacerdotale. Ti preghiamo umilmente per la comunione al corpo e al sangue di Cristo, lo Spirito Santo. Ricordati, Padre, della tua Chiesa diffusa su tutta la terra. Rendela perfetta nell'amore e in unione con il nostro Vescovo Papa Francesco e tutto l'ordine sacerdotale. Ricordati dei nostri fratelli che si sono addormentati nella speranza della risurrezione e di tutti i defunti che si affidano alla tua clemenza, ammettili a godere la luce del tuo volto. Di noi tutti abbi misericordia, donaci di aver parte alla vita eterna, insieme con la Beata Maria, Vergine e Madre di Dio, con San Giuseppe e suo sposo, con gli Apostoli e tutti i Santi che in ogni tempo ti furono graditi. E in Gesù Cristo, tuo Figlio, canteremo la tua gloria. Per Cristo, con Cristo e in Cristo, a te, a te Dio Padre Onnipotente, nell'unità dello Spirito, Spirito Santo, Santo, ogni onore e gloria per, per tutti i secoli dei secoli. Dei secoli. Amen. Our Holy Father will now invite us to pray the Lord's Prayer together. Presidente alla parola del Salvatore e formati al suo divino insegnamento, possiamo dire Padre nostro che sei nel cielo, sia santificato il tuo nome, venga il tuo regno, sia fatta la tua volontà, come in cielo e così in terra. Dacci oggi il nostro pane quotidiano, rimetti a noi i nostri debiti, come noi li rimettiamo ai nostri debitori e non ci indurre in tentazione ma liberaci dal male liberaci o Signore da tutti i mali concedi la pace ai nostri giorni 
con l'aiuto della Tua misericordia, vivremo sempre liberi dal peccato e sicuri da ogni turbamento. Nella testa che si compia la beata speranza e venga il nostro Salvatore Gesù Cristo. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Signore Gesù Cristo, che hai detto ai tuoi apostoli, vi lascio la pace, vi do la mia pace. Non guardare ai nostri peccati, ma alla fede della tua Chiesa. E dona le unità e pace, secondo la tua volontà. Tu che vivi il Rei nei secoli dei secoli. Amen. La pace del Signore sia sempre con voi. E con il tuo Spirito. Scambiatevi un segno di pace. And we've been invited to offer a sign of peace. And we now invoke our Lord as Lamb of God. Beati invitati alla cena del Signore. Ecco l'agnello di Dio che toglie i peccati del mondo. O Signore, non sono degno di partecipare alla tua bellezza, ma di soltanto una parola e io sarò salvato. Our Holy Father now receiving communion and we can pray, O Lord. I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And the words of our communion antiphon remind us, the Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead and so enter into his glory. Alleluia. Our Holy Father will now lead us in a spiritual communion. persone che non si comunicano fanno adesso la comunione spirituale. Gesù mio, credo che sei realmente presente nel Santissimo Sacramento dell'Altare. Ti amo sopra ogni cosa e ti desidero nell'anima mia, poiché ora non posso riceverti sacramentalmente, vieni almeno spiritualmente nel mio cuore. Come già venuto, io ti abbraccio e tutto mi unisco a te. Non permettere che mi abbia mai a separare da te. And we can pray with the same words. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you were already there, I embrace you 
and unite myself wholly to you. Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. The priest is now putting our Lord in the monstrance. We prepare ourselves for adoration.
Vediamo. Saudisci, Signore, le nostre preghiere. La partecipazione al mistero della redenzione ci dia l'aiuto per la vita presente e ci ottenga la felicità eterna. Per Cristo nostro Signore. Amen. Signore sia con voi. E con il tuo Spirito. Our Holy Father prayed, Hear us, hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. We now receive the Lord's blessing. We can bless ourselves or make another act of veneration. And we can pray. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Our Lord, now being reposed once again in the Blessed Sacrament, we carry him in our hearts throughout this day and make him present to all we meet. And our Holy Father invites us to go in the peace of the Lord At the conclusion of this Holy Mass on Tuesday, in the fourth week of Easter here in the Casa Santa Marta Chapel, I invite you to join us again tomorrow at the same time for the Holy Father's Wednesday morning Mass at 7 o'clock, Rome time. And then tomorrow he will also have his weekly general audience that will also be live streamed at 9.30 on these same channels you're getting this Mass. I also invite you to go to the Vatican News web portal. You will find live playback of all of the Holy Father's Masses, summaries of homilies, and other important Vatican and world news. On behalf of Vatican Media, I would like to thank all of you once again for joining us and for the technicians who've made this broadcast possible. Laudator Jesus Christus, praised be Jesus Christ.